Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I am super duper pumped to jump into October in my Plum Paper Vertical Columns Planner, but that is not what today's video is. I think that before we start the last quarter of 2020, it's really important to look back on where we've come from, what worked, what didn't work, so that we continue to make plans for our future. So I'm actually going to skip July today, even though July is part of quarter three. I have already done like a pretty extensive July review um, on my channel previously. I can link that in the cards above if you're interested. So let's go to September and talk through, you know, what worked, what didn't work, why, and make some plans for the rest of the year. So August, I loved because August was actually the first month that I used my planner every day. Even though I had a July start, I was really back planning July to kind of learn my planning style, which um, newsflash, it's still changing and evolving every day. Um, in my plum paper planner, even though it says goal one, goal two, goal three, I tend to use these little focal points, I guess, as like, I don't know, thoughts. Did I embrace change? Did I give generously? And was I an advocate in, in self-care today, an advocate for myself? Um, I use this page very regularly because I flip back for my daily gratitude so I can kind of reflect on this as I'm writing down my daily gratitude, which I only missed one day in August, so that's freaking awesome. Um, birthdays, events I use as the planner has intended it, and then things to remember, I decided to put an inspirational quote because I felt like that was kind of like redundant. Um, and then books read, I feel pretty happy with the amount of books that I've read in August, especially considering the first day of school was supposed to be in August and then it was pushed back to September. So I feel like I got a good bit of reading done, which is, you know, one of the ways that I can practice self care, but also it's such like an escape for me reading to just learn about other things and leave my own life for a little bit and go into someone else's world. The monthly spread I loved until I ruined it with these highlighters, but what can I do once it's already on paper, you know? The first week of August was when I blew my own brain and realized that I could use this duplicate week as my monthly goal setting page, which just was so amazing. Like this page got so much use, even more use I would think than the daily gratitude because I would flip to this multiple times a day just to see what could I be doing, what aligns with my goals, things like that. I love it. This spread I think is when I um, fell in love with florals and I have basically been trying to put florals on every single spread since I did this one. This is from the Layered Floral Sticker Book and even though these colors aren't typically my jam, I'm in love with the just it's beautiful i'm in love with how the calendar is covered i started putting like a weekly action plan in my sidebar i made my own habit tracker in the side tracking workouts and water underneath which i started doing in july and carried over this was just beautimous another thing that i really like to do is i will take my bookmark and i will use it as like a little ruler so i can make these little dashed lines as like a heading header i don't know I love it. This is probably my favorite spread that I've created thus far. Now, honestly, the week after that was a total bust and I taped it together because I just don't like looking at things that make me feel guilty. So if I had clothes in my um, closet that I don't wear, I donate them. I don't wanna see things and feel like I should be using them or should do this. I did keep this open and I did use my weekly spread as the week went on, but as soon as Sunday evening, I taped that sucker together and we are moving on. Back to florals, which I knew I loved. So I used this pink and green little combination. I actually did a spread with the same exact sticker book, same exact colors in my work planner, if you're curious. Um, and this really worked. Again, habit tracker, workouts and water, weekly action plan. And then I tend to just kind of use my weeks or my days rather as like a running to-do list. I like it. That's honestly one of the things that I like the most about the vertical columns is that I have a lot of length to write out my to-do list. The vertical priorities, I felt like I was always running out of room. Um, so vertical columns, I really feel comfortable and confident moving forward in this planner. I don't think that I will switch Again, especially after I've figured out that I can use that duplicate week as my monthly goals, this is just really my jam. Moving forward, um, I have noticed that if I really love something, I will duplicate it. So floral, floral. Here, while I don't duplicate the blue ink, what I really loved a lot about this spread in particular were these squad goals. I think it's squad goals. 
it might be squad girls I always get it mixed up but I just love the stickers that came out of here I love the little floral banner that I made and so when I go to the following week I have squad goals again um, tracking my water I have my habits up here this time because I thought that a Bible verse would be comforting here for my first week of school it was not I ran out of room and then I just wetted it out and completely ignored it for the rest of the week because sometimes you just gotta walk away um, on this layout I decided to do my habits in the middle um, at home to-do list underneath and then things that I wanted to like do that were like important or not in the house up top like book club and going grocery shopping so that is this week and I really do like the basic like black white and gold it's just pretty and simple which is really all planning needs to be notice black and white stripe when I get to the first week of September here we are black and white stripe again I did flip over briefly the monthly highlights and the daily gratitude because this is not any different than August was. I am embarrassed that I've only read one book this month so far and this book is a book I've read out loud to my students but times are hard and I'm just hardly surviving. Bringing the joy sometimes. Embracing change is very difficult. Healthy habits also pretty difficult. I think I am doing pretty good though with like establishing a boundary between work and home. I try not to bring it home. I try not to think about it. But times are tough. Anywho, monthly spread basically the same. I love the way that the purple and the cheetah turned out this month. And although I don't like the way that this is decorated, the functionality of this week which is really my monthly plans, really love. I also really love that when I have a specific day, like we always do our date nights on a Tuesday night, I love that I have them labeled with the number, just like going to church is labeled with the number that happens on a specific day. I just find that super helpful. Anyway, back to this. I really wanted to use this lemons and I felt like time was kind of ticking because to have a random lemon spread in fall was gonna be weird, so I did lemons and of course I brought the stripe with me and it's a lot of white space. It was the first week with kids but I'm giving myself grace and also realizing like everything kind of squished together and really full stresses me out so the less things that I write down sometimes the better. Continue with my habit tracker. Don't always do particularly good with my habit tracker. This would explain why I only have one book read for September but it is what it is. Moving forward to last week, I decided to duplicate or I guess recreate one of the spreads that I had done in my work planner where I did florals down the center, um, but I didn't want to eliminate space for myself writing on Wednesday and Thursday, so I decided to do it in the top and bottom, which I probably would have dragged it down here and whited out the gray, but it actually ended up turning out fine in the end. Again, it's another pretty wide open white space, so... I don't actually need the extra space. Again, my habit tracker, my weekly intentions, and I just really love this. Here's my little dash line again with my handy dandy bookmark, and that is that. This is the current week. Can't go wrong with rainbow, can't go wrong with florals. I actually colored in these florals from the back of a black and white it's the back of the layered florals. It's all black and white florals, so I just colored them in. I did my habits up here because I find that um, I'm conveniently just like ignoring it in the corner, so I brought it to the forefront, which, you know, needs to happen sometimes, and I like this. This emptiness is totally fine. The things that are in here currently are like things I do every week. Laundry I do on Wednesdays and Sundays. Cleaning the kitchen I do Thursday night because I go shopping on Friday, so I want to make sure that it's nice and clean. So that is that. The last week in October I have prepared to be inspired by my mom. It's my mom's birthday on Saturday the 3rd, and so I've just picked colors that go with her. And I learned this about myself in July, if you watched my July video, that I really do well when I pick like two colors. And so the greens and the yellows I'm really excited for for this last week as well. Rainbows are great. More than one color is totally fine, but if I were trying to do like three colors at a time, it just kind of overwhelms me. So I'm excited for this as well.
what I really love about my planner is the reflection add-on. And so at the end of each month, it asks you to kind of reflect on, you know, your wellness, your happiness, fulfillment, energy, health, etc. But also answer like some prompts about what you did, where you where you went, things you ate. And that can be really overwhelming to think about at the end of the month as you're trying to set up the new month and just generally live your life. So I've been just keeping track. I did it on a post-it note one week, one month, and then this month I just have like this scrap piece of paper where I'm actually writing myself every Sunday so that I can take an average. And then the indicator is not just like what I can remember of the month, but is actually like based on data. Um, so that is what's been happening so far in my Plum Paper Vertical Columns Planner. I am super excited to continue growing and learning alongside you. I hope that you have had a wonderful third quarter and continue to follow along on the journey. Have a great day.